this information uh, <clears throat> in this video the gentleman sending it is 100% to root and I have evidence of this uh, subject of this object in the Iranian space which is hiding on the land of Iran and in the space but listen to this with human reproduction usually they take the form of a scrawny old woman with a clay nose and a bright red face she also has sharp fangs disheveled hair copper claws iron teeth and the tusks of a wild boar the old woman attacks pregnant women but like the evil being it is it only strikes when they are alone and at their most vulnerable she wants their organs and will attempt to take the woman's liver or lung afterwards she will put them in a basket which she carries around with her at all times if she is successful the will attempt to escape and cross the first source of water. That's important because at that point the woman cannot be saved. Believers use special ward or charms to prevent the demon from reaching water thereby saving the pregnant woman and the baby she is carrying. Next up at number nine now we have the Manticore. This is an ancient Persian creature of legend that has been both feared and revered over the millennia. It's said to have the head of a human, the body of a lion and a tail made up of venomous spine similar to porcupine quills or perhaps even the actual tail of a scorpion. His appearance has been compared to the Sphinx of ancient Egypt. The Manticore's name literally translates to Man-Eater, which kind of gives you a clue as to what it's all about. Ancient descriptions talk of its three rows of sharp teeth and a fa- that it would hurl its poisonous spikes at enemies like arrows. Essentially, this creature was like all the scary things in the animal kingdom packed into one animal whose name is literally Man-Eater. I don't think they would have made very good pets. <laughs> Moving on to number eight now, we have the Peri. These are winged spirits originated from Persian and Armenian mythologies. On a scale of morality, they are often described as being somewhere between angels and the evil spirits of the world. Generally speaking, though, they were seen as beautiful female people out into the desert. Once they are totally alone, that of a hyena. The ghoul lures unwary people out into the desert. Some accounts state that a the ghouls are demons or monsters associated with graveyards or consuming people's flesh. Some accounts state that a ghoul lives in the desert and shapeshifts into animals in order to hunt humans. One of its favorite forms is that of a hyena. The ghoul lures unwary people out into the desert. Once they are totally alone and out of sight of all other people, the ghoul kills and devours them on the spot. The creature also preys on young children. It drinks blood. It It steals coins and eats the dead. An all-round baddie, you might say. Perhaps even more scary, though, is its ability to take the form of the person it most recently ate. Imagine how scary that would be, realizing that your friend was a sort of shape-shifting ghoul. Perhaps you should check all your friends in the near future. Better safe than sorry. Moving on to the five now, we have the Night Hag. This is a great one. It's a concept that exists in a number of different cultures, but in Iran, it's known as the Bakstak. It's said to be an evil ghost or creature that causes sleep paralysis. In Iran, though, there's a slight twist on this well-known legend. The Bakstak is a sort of guardian of treasures. It's believed that the creature somehow knows about hidden treasures in the world. However, It's always a closely kept secret, especially to mortals like us. Humans are not supposed to even know about the hidden treasure's existence, and especially not where it's located. There is a way to find out, though. Legend says that if you grab the creature's nose, it will be forced to tell you where the hidden treasure is. If you can't... This is a subject. I bring it to you, to the Iranian uh, space operation team. This object is the, basically, this object exists in the Iran land and in the space behind the satellite, which is the, they are able to make magic behind the satellites, something is not exist, they bring to show is exist, they can show it is exists but reality is not exist 
This is a serious, serious magic of the Persian, Iran, which is this uh, thousand of thousand years they are hiding behind the Iranian lands and Iranian power, which is costing death to the many. I bring it to here, which is the, this is the exist in the Iran land, not exactly in the land they can see, but hiding subject and uh, in a space behind the technology, weapon, satellite, all that, they are have control over the everything past the Iran. So if something want to pass the Iran to come enter by a space, they must, uh, they see that. They trying to not let the pass <clears throat> and they trying to rule in the Iran. So far they did. Iranian land, government, in generation, generation came. But this is a reality exists in Iran. I bring it to the, here, which is the, I be called to bring the Last Judgment Day by movie, International World Documentary Worldwide Movie. This is the Europa lands, which is a demon walking through alien to this part. From here. To this part. This is a Mars which is walking from here to there.
to subject by bringing it to here. They call this dust level, but they don't have no idea what they call in this dust level. This is not dust level. This is a revolution of the angel attacking in the Mars for final stand in the Earth, which is I must be bring this documentary to a starting in this. To a starting. In the space, New Central Me is fifty percent smaller. And This is the reality must be raised. This is a reality must be raised by my information in worldwide documentary to bring in evidence of the space dark matter, dark side, what they are doing in the ground to the road.